guys we are back inside of another abandoned funeral home this one is pretty crazy also pretty tiny very cool neighborhood funeral parlor that we're standing in right here with all the elements still left behind i'm obviously standing in front of a very nice casket very cool we're going to get into that in a minute we have an embalming room on the other side of the wall over here that is absolutely amazing i've never seen an embalming room this complete i want to get into that as soon as possible with you guys, which is probably gonna be in the latter part of the video because I'm gonna start inside of here. Very cool little explorer. We got some cremains left behind. All kinds of stuff inside this little neighborhood funeral park. I can't wait to get into this one and see what's good inside of here. Let's do it. I really like this casket. It's probably one of the nicer ones that we've seen. It's like a metallic pink with the chrome rails on it. Very cool really nice still in very very good shape but yeah this is a very very nice little casket that we're seeing right here so in very great shape really cool like i said the metallic paint on there very nice that's a little pink satin inside of there very comfortable i would assume i don't know much about these because i've never been inside of one but i would assume that that's a pretty nice way to be laid to rest really nice one so this area right here is where the friends and family would congregate around the deceased. Everybody would sit and kind of hang out, console people that needed consoling. Look at this nice picture that they would have of themselves on the board there, candles lit, flowers around, nice little fountain going right there. They have a fountain here. Nice little fountain right there. Well, everybody pays their respects to their friends and family or a friend and family. So yeah, very nice. Very, very cool. I really like the gold and the black leather on here. Very old school, very fitting of a nice funeral parlor like this. This is a very small funeral parlor here. It's only this one room right here. So very small, quaint little spot. All the computers left inside of here. Who knows what's on there? You know, I'm always saying people's paperwork is getting left behind, but nowadays it's more about the data that gets left behind. That's very valuable. So if there's anything on there of people's, you know, personal information or anything like that, it kind of sucks because that's their main data sitting on there. But I'm sure that there was not much personal records on there. It's probably all funeral records from the deceased and people who've been embalmed here or had their funerals here. It's all on there. That's a really cool fluorescent light right there. Definitely cool with the lead and the stained glass and all that stuff. Definitely fits the funeral parlor vibe for sure. Old school funeral parlor vibes for sure. All these jackets, different dresses. I wonder why they had dresses inside. I guess like in the other one, like I assumed maybe if you weren't able to afford or had no family giving you a proper burial they would be able to dress you. So they would have all these pieces here so they could dress somebody is what I assume. It looks like something that a lady might be buried in, a man might be buried in, a cheap suit like that. But yeah, so they had everybody literally covered. One of the things that I'm constantly seeing nowadays are cremains left behind 
I'm sure it's not that abnormal if everything else was left behind inside of a place, but it's actually really saddening that nobody's family came to pick up their ashes and somebody's remains just kind of sit in abandoned buildings like this. So yeah, three or four people's ashes. I don't like to touch that stuff, but these are those boxes of cremains. Right at this front doorway right here, at all the office stuff going on. I'm sure this is where the families would come and get with the funeral director and see what was going on, see what they could do about a casket, getting them dressed and made up right. But seeing this article here, I'm sure they put these out for people to read. This seems like an important person in the community. Very cool. Yeah, a whole little office area right here. Just kind of hanging out right here, doing all your funeral work, booking caskets. Probably one of the coolest embalming rooms I've ever seen. The table is near perfect. No paint on it, no nothing that you would normally see and something that has been explored. This is where they drain the blood, come and run around the grooves in the table, come down through the hole, into the tank, down the drain. Pretty crazy. But this is some of our last moments on earth or I don't specifically think that you could call them moments, but this is the last thing that your body kind of goes through on earth here. So everybody, if you're lucky, will experience it. Hopefully everybody is fortunate enough to go through this process and they're not lost somewhere. This is the first time I'm actually seeing fillers like this. This is all like fillers for the skin and the makeup, and you know, make it rosy, bring color back to the flesh. but. There's fillers in there and stuff like clay. I guess they could mold stuff that needs molding, I guess you could say, but yeah, pretty crazy. Not exactly sure what that is though. It looks like it does something crazy. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know in the comments because I've never ever seen one of those before. And mannequin heads are always creepy. I always like mannequin heads. I love these old school cabinets with the glass, especially the paint job on them, the powder blue. Very cool with all the drawers, everything still left behind to get the body prepared. Pretty crazy. I've never seen a cabinet this intact before. Stuff, oh, that one's locked, so that's not open, but stuff is all inside of here all kinds of supplies that they would use to prep the body pretty crazy i've never seen a complete cabinet pretty much like this really cool to look at all this cool stuff get my light on that just razors just basic stuff to just like i said prep the body get everything ready nothing too insane but yeah still cool to look at another complete table filled with all the supplies that you would need to prep the body. Drawers filled. These are things that we don't normally see guys. Usually these places are just ransacked. Somebody gets inside of them for whatever reason, likes to throw everything around. Or steal these cabinets. A lot of times these kinds of cabinets get stolen. And that's unfortunate because a lot of times explorers miss the opportunity to check it out for themselves. It's kind of why we document it, just in case anybody ever removes it.
this right here is probably one of the most amazing parts of this place because being in as many funeral homes as I have been in in the past, I have never seen the embalming tools left inside of a place or hanging on the wall like this. Actually pretty incredible that they're hanging on the wall like this. All these little pieces that they'd use to poke holes in the body, drain the blood out, do all the stuff that they had to do to embalm the deceased. It's pretty crazy that this is all still sitting on this wall right now. I, that, that's, like I said, that's the most amazing part about this is that everything's kind of intact. This whole entire room for the most part is all left behind. Going through this doorway right here into what I am guessing is another office area. And I'm actually right. It is an office area. So yeah, this is where the funeral director I guess we kind of hang out, do all his computer work, the computers that he left behind. And it's just right next to the room where they would hold the funerals here. So yeah. So yeah, another office where this guy would get all his paperwork done, catalog the bodies, I guess, write in the computer what he actually did to them. I'm sure that you have to document every single thing that goes on inside of here. So there is an after job, you know, like a, 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 a job that you have to do after the fact, I guess you could say, because you have to document everything that you've done. Somebody has to go through that. There's records and things like that, just in case there are any mishaps or anybody meant to make any kinds of claims, they would document it inside of here, I'm assuming. So the last date that I'm seeing inside of this place, cause I'm seeing boards and paperwork and all kinds of things strewn about really. It's just the papers. It's really not, it's really just the paperwork that people went through. It's kind of amazing. As I stated a couple of times in this video that all the equipment isn't thrown all over the place and or stolen like it usually is. But the last date that I'm finding inside of here is 2009. So it's been 15 years, probably 15 years that that's the last date that somebody has been in here. So yeah, it's been quite a while. So yeah, for that to be intact is really, really pretty incredible to me. All right, guys, I want to end this video off in the best embalming room that we have ever been inside of. It is, near complete it is in great shape for being abandoned for pretty much over 10 years i'm just, i'm just, uh, the last kind of dates that i saw i couldn't really show very much paperwork but the last dates i saw were around 10 years ago so maybe they were filing things i'm not exactly sure when the last funeral happened here but yes the best embalming room that we've ever been inside of everything complete from the heads to the table with nothing on it very clean the cabinets that we saw fully stocked pretty much with makeup, never seen makeup before, the embalming tools, pretty, pretty crazy stuff inside of here. Definitely a pretty good glimpse into your body's final time here on earth. So definitely a very cool explorer. I really enjoyed this. Enjoyed looking at that cool casket out there. Very small, quaint little funeral parlor for this neighborhood. I'm sure everybody in this neighborhood, when they died, they have to come here, the family would come down the block, do their whole, you know, get together. I don't really know what you call like a funeral congregation, I guess you would call it. So they would congregate here and they would go back to their homes in the neighborhood. So it's a very nice little neighborhood, little old neighborhood around here. So I'm sure that they service most of the people that were here that belong to the Catholic religion, I'm assuming. So yeah, very cool. Very great explore. I'm glad that I got here when I did. I'm very glad that I got to do this. Like, I, it's a very cool explore. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you at the next spot. Peace.